Peace, welcome to Faith Expressions in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the virtue of purity, of chastity. We can fall into the idea that it is useless to talk about purity, to talk about chastity, to talk about uh, moral cleanliness or spiritual cleanliness because, because of how the world has become and what the world has become in our time and context. And wherever we go, however we live, we are always influenced or we are affected by the many trash and dirt and disdain and rubbish in the world around us. Mm. Many times we say it is useless to talk about uh, purity or chastity because at the moment I open my eyes, I am already uh, thinking of many things that is ungodly and that is dirty. I am, I am in the mall and just looking around and enjoying and then uh, we see many things that already suggest um, dirty things and the, looking at the television or the movie or anything that we can enjoy of, there is always something that is inserted that may not be good for our uh, spiritual well-being. This many times discourage us to talk and reflect about the virtue of purity and the virtue of chastity. But precisely, it is in this very moment that we have to talk about this virtue in order that we be encouraged not to be sucked in to what the society and to what the world is, uh, is about. We have to live, therefore, a life that is counter-current. And yes, it can be difficult, but it never is impossible because the saints give us the proof that it can be possible to be in the midst of the world but not becoming worldly. And so the more that the call of being pure, being clean, being chaste, becomes urgent. So, from the scriptures, we can also cite some uh, passages about the virtue of purity. For example, uh, St. Paul saying, May you be preserved, whole and entire, spirit, soul, and body, irreproachable for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Irreproachable. This is about purity. This is about a chastity of life. Um, Jesus Christ also once said, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it out. If your eyes causes you to sin, take it out. This is a life of purity. It's a life of cleanliness, a life of chastity, a life that is away from sin. Um, St. Paul also said, you offer your body as living sacrifice. So we cannot offer to God that is dirty. We offer to God that is truly worthy of God. Of course, we offer to God our sins. Of course, we, we can offer to God uh, everything of who we are, yes. But would it be best if we offer what is best? We offer to God as much as possible the best in us. And that's why we strive in purity, in chastity. How can we live purity? How can we appreciate the virtue of purity? We go to God. God is Himself pure. He is chaste. He is clean. And that's who He is. The beauty of God is precisely His Chastity, His purity, His divinity. That beauty, His purity, His chastity is given to us. The blood of Christ has washed us clean so that we can live in divine life. And divine life itself is purity. Divine life itself is chastity. So, we are capable of being chaste. We are capable 
a purity of heart, purity of mind, purity of the soul, purity of the whole being. We, let us be reminded to pray and ask the Lord for this virtue of chastity, the virtue of purity, to be clean. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to make us clean. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to purify us so that the tendency to sin may be cast out and replaced with the tendency to the good, to the beautiful, to the godly, to the truthful. So also, our life, by virtue of baptism, we were clothed in white garment. And this white garment symbolizes the purity of our soul, the purity of our being. Therefore, we are capable of living clean lives. We are capable of living to the level of our dignity as children of God. Therefore, you and I must strive to seek out our own innocence, to seek out our purity of heart, of mind. It can be difficult because it means we have to discipline ourselves. It can be difficult because it means we have to break some bad habits. It can be difficult because we have to destroy some mannerisms in our lives. So you and I must strive to clean the mind, to clean our eyes, to clean our mouth from bad words, to clean our actions, to clean our relationships, to imitate Jesus Christ. He is chaste. He is pure. He is divine. In conclusion, in our time and context, people uh, would like to work for beauty, the beautiful appearance, etc. And that is not bad. But we have to work as well for our spiritual beauty. We have to work for the beauty of the soul. And Sin makes us ugly. Sin makes us dirty. And when we are dirty, everything that is sinful makes us ugly. And many times we only focus on, on sex, sex, or pornography and pornography as, as if they are the only ones that uh, can destroy the virtue of purity and chastity in our lives. No. All sin destroys purity. Therefore, as we have been baptized and have lived and have been given purity of heart, of soul, of mind, of the whole being, and so now let us strive to live that dignity. Let us ask the Blessed Mother Mary, the Queen of Purity, to help us fight against all temptations that can destroy the purity of our being. May the Blessed Mother Mary, the beautiful handmaid of the Lord, remind us always of the beauty as well of our soul, of our being for God, so that in every moment we also fight for our own beauty, a life that is divine, a life that is chaste, that is pure, that is clean. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe if you have not done so, and share this video to others. God bless.